South Korea, population of 51 million people, has accomplished on introducing the culture to the world and through K-pop, K-beauty, K-food, our culture has influenced many lives in the world and taught people how to enjoy lives in our ways. And this, this is about beer. Something that's globally connected and what we all enjoy in life. No differences in our background. K-beer. This is Beer Tour in Seoul. Hey guys, this is Beer Tour in Seoul. And I'm Jonathan. How's everybody doing today? It's already year 2021. Did you guys have enough beer in the year 2020? Well, I certainly have. And there are just a little bit amount of a video, of the previous videos that I've introduced you in Korean beers. I'm just wondering if you guys had a chance to taste it. Well, I hope you guys did. Today, I'm going to be introducing you a little bit differently today. It's not a Korean company, but it's a company in the United States that wanted to express Seoul with their own unique beer. And it's called Duck Duck Goose from Goose Island, Chicago, Illinois. I'm not too familiar with the company, I'm gonna be honest, but I do love beer. And Duck Duck Goose is one of the games that I used to play when I was in um, elementary school or, or younger maybe. I don't know if they've made the name after it, but well, it's a funny name, Duck Duck Goose. And I also love Goose because in Canada, uh, there's Goose everywhere. Even, even, even Toonies are Goose. And there's Goose, Canada Goose, and Goose. Yeah, well, I like it. I A lot of times in the video, in the previous video, I've told you that I don't... I'm not a big fan of IPA beer, but as a person who would prefer beer over every other alcohol that are out there in the bar or everywhere you go in the mall, shopping malls, it's undeniable that I can't avoid IPA from making an introduction video. IPA, ale, Indian pale ale, ale. <laughs> IPA stands for Indian pale ale that came in back in the year 1700s to 1800s. English people were trying to ship their own beer, this English low alcohol bitter beer over to India. Beer itself, their own kind of beer did not, just couldn't withstand the prolonged long hours of the shipping process and by the time it got to India, it was the taste was all gone. So what they had to do was they put whole amount of hop into a beer to work as a preservatives so that even during shipping process, they would still have that taste that they want to feel from the beer with the work of hop. Okay. Although I don't know too much about the company, but I do know that in fact, that this Goose Island company had been awarded six times from the Great American Beer Festival. How many awards do I have? I have I've only a couple. I just have my uh, university graduate certificates. That's just few, right? Six is amazing. So, although IPA, I'm not a big fan of IPA, but since they put so much effort and claimed six awards, Well, although I mentioned that I'm not a big fan of IPA, but this company has well done jobs and won the award six times. So I'm very curious, you know, maybe this beer can change my thoughts, my previous thoughts of hating IPA, and maybe can turn me into loving the IPA after. So let's take a look at the level. It's duck, duck, goose, tropical, easy, refreshing uh, session IPA. So when I searched up a news, electronic news, uh, when they were releasing the duck, duck, goose, they, the company wanted to uh, put 
every good quality, every culture of South Korea into a beer. So if you see the level outside of the appearance, you see the Seoul Tao, uh, Eastern Jin, uh, the Tower, and 63 building. Some building in English, I'm not too sure what it's called, but it's uh, 63rd floor building. But whatever, okay. So there are cultural Con culturally standing, symbolizing structures, buildings, and they're all here. So I'm really wondering. And if you look closely, there's Gangnam Station. Uh, some of that's Gangnam Station, I believe, because Duck Duck Goose Korea is located near in Gangnam. So, oh. Is that a star? They have four stars. I'm gonna have a taste and let's see if this four star uh, says what it is. So, let's open it up. First, the smell, of course. The Goose Island beer, IPA beers, are worldly known and are famous for the IPA. And IPA is uh, well, generally the ones that taste very hoppy. But for me, this this is not the strongest uh, beer with a strong scent of hop. Okay, so pour it in, three. See the color together. Well, there is, well, there is, of course, the sense from half, but most of the time I feel that there is a bitterness covering all over that half half is. For the taste. Well, surprisingly, uh, well, it first smells citrus and it tastes citrus as well. But since it's an IPA, I first thought I was going to taste a lot of hops, but instead I tasted a lot of uh, tropical uh, taste. And there is a slight bitterness in both scent and taste, and it's almost uh, slightly acidic. And the end taste, there is certainly absolutely an end taste and I would guess in my own my own draw of thought a that's going to be a bitterness that stays after its end taste so one more so as you pour this into your mouth I sense that tropical taste and right away and that, okay, so out of five seconds, let's say, um, I taste the tropical flavors, that sweetness and scents from all sort of fruits together. And I only smell that tropical scent about one or two seconds of, of five. And rest, I just go straight to the end taste, which is all bitterness remaining in my tongue, on my on top of my tongue. Very light, I'd say. It's a very light beer. And a person like me, who would prefer other beers than IPA, I'd say this duck duck goose, I think I like this. If I have a meeting or when I get a chance to meet people in a group and they entirely are aligned and state that they only like IPAs, then I would bring Cuckoo Duck Duck Goose to fit in their groups. And because this is the light type of IPA that I would enjoy when I have to drink IPA out of other beers. So, if you're very sensitive to smell or taste, um, those typical IPA beers are very strong and acidic and fully gousing in your head with the smell that gives you headache. Lightly manufactured, I believe, and it's for everyone to enjoy. Okay, so the color. Um, 
So the previous video, I've introduced you on the Jeju Retail. Uh, the turbidity is not as strong as Jeju Retail. Um, I can see through the glass. It's very teeny bitty slightly. <laughs> no. Turbidity is uh, slightly gentle cloudiness present in the liquid. And I'd say that's just before brown gold. Slightly brownish. Yellow, deep gold, almost deep gold, almost. Oh, I can't tell the color. Why do I see green? What the heck is going on? Excuse uh, me. Not bright yellow, dark yellow gold. Let's just say. Yeah. Duck Duck Goose. Uh, sorry, Goose Island. They've done a great job on making such a beautiful IPA that even a person like me can enjoy. If I further explain you guys a, what this Goose Island is about, um, I've mentioned that they are specialized and they're well known for their IPA style beer and that they are focused with craft beers. The differences between the regular beer and a craft beer. A regular beer is math produced pale yellow and enjoyed in the ice cold states in a large amount. And craft beer, they focuses on flavors and usually in high dosage of alcohol. But IPA is called, if you look at the name, it's called a session IPA. Session IPA refers back in the time in World War I, uh, the laborers enjoyed having low alcohol, strong hoppiness beer at the time. And following that tradition and putting South Korean traditions together, they made this wonderful IPA that everybody could enjoy for everyone. It's fruity taste. Well, they claim that it's very fruity, but I feel that it's more of a bitterness because that fruity tropical scent is only felt uh, one or two seconds as soon as you pour in your mouth and rest of that up until the end taste goes away it's all bitterness so for overall i my personal score that i give to dr Goop's ipa the session ipa is going to be uh four out of five i'm a big fan of weizen beer that specific banana flavor beer and although I've mentioned in the previous video that I am not a big fan of the IPA, but I think I can enjoy this IPA because it lacks of that strong, concentrated hoppiness. There is a little bit of tropical taste and it's all bitterness towards the end taste, end of that end taste. I give four out of five because it surprised me because it is a beer that even a person I could, person I could even enjoy. Although it's IPA, and as a person who's not a fan of IPA beer, I was able to enjoy it very lightly uh, without any too much pressure of that having mind that this is IPA. It's very light and it's tasty. I do love that bitterness towards the end. It kind of gives me the feeling that it's washing my mouth off. Goose Island from Chicago, Illinois, they've put South Korean, the whole soul into one beer and put so much work on the label design to introduce you a little bit about Korea and their location, the Goose Island Korean location into the level. And I thank this company for allowing me to enjoy IPA in the lightest way as possible in a level where everybody can enjoy it. Thank you for that and thank you all the viewers for watching my video and please give me your own personal reviews down below in the comments tell me about your own perspective and thoughts of this beer thank you very much everyone i'm going to have this all beer and go soon tonight thank you bye you want to see me talk this down my throat here we go this is the first ipa that i enjoy Oh, I forgot. This is my friend. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Jasmine and Orange. It's supposed to grow flower and like the whole room smell like Jasmine and Orange. And it's 
the second week of the first month of 2021. Happy New Year! To kind of virtually give you a present uh, to celebrate uh, the Happy New Year of 2021. I'm gonna chop this down one time. Here we go. Very good. This is one of the best IPA I had for my taste. Thank you. Bye.